You're rolling. We're doing 10-4 radical equations. Good, buddy. <laughs> right. Okay. Just by the title alone, what do you think this section is going to entail? Radical equations. An equation. What, what does equation mean to you? It has an equal sign. It has an equal sign. Beautiful. Equations have an equal sign. And uh, I'd like to tell you that 10-4 is easier than 10-3. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's not easier, but it's as easy. Okay. Um, on the warm-up, I did this for a reason. Um, radical 12 times radical 12 is? Square root of 5t times square root of 5t is? The quantity of the radical 7 squared is? 7. All right, so to get rid of a radical, what do you do? You square it. And in actuality, folks, um, that's the first lesson that we're going to learn is just square it. Uh, when, I, when I gave you an equation back in the day, I'd always say, hey, guys, what's our goal? And what would your answer be? Solve the unknown. How do you solve the unknown? Get the unknown by itself. How do you get it by itself? Inverse operation. Okay, so I'll give you an easy one starting out. Um, square root of x minus 3. The square root of x minus 3 minus 2 equals 4. Okay, now back in the day, like way back in the first marking period, you would only have you'd only have x, right? And, and what would be the first step of getting x by itself? Add 2 to both sides. Okay, what do you think you do first step here? Add 2. Add 2, because you want to get the radical, you want to get the radical all by itself so you can score both sides. So the first thing you want to do is add 2, add 2, 2's are gone, Square root of x, square root of x minus 3 equals 6. Now, is our radical all by itself? No. It's not all by itself? What's on the same side with it? No. Is our radical all by itself? Yes. So what do you think you're going to do to get rid of that radical? Square root. Square root. I'm sorry. Square both sides. Square the left side. Square the right hand side. What is? The square root of x minus 3 squared. x minus 3. x minus 3. 6 squared? 36. 36. How do you get x by itself? Add 3 to both sides. Add 3 to both sides. x equals 39. x equals 39. Garrett, you look a little bit stunned. You're not stunned? I'm not stunned. All right. Questions on this one right here? Let me give you another example. Please get this down for me. Uh, 4 plus the square root of, 4 plus the square root of h plus 1 equals 14. First step, uh, Mr. Kendall. Uh, subtract one from both sides. See, I tricked you. See, on this one, I put the number behind the radical, and on, on the next one, I tried to trick you, and I did, I put it in front. Subtract four from both sides. Subtract four from both sides. Very nice. Minus four, minus four. Draw a line. The square root of h plus one is equal to ten. Next step, Miss Abigail. Square both sides. I'm going to square left side. I'm going to square the right hand side. What is the quantity of the square root of h plus 1? H plus 1. H plus 1. And 10 times 10 is 20, correct? It's not 20. It's 100. <laughs> Subtract 1 from both sides. h equals 99. Easier or as easy? Easier. Oh, okay, easier. Now, um, there, uh, there could be a little trick 
on some of these. Here I just gave you a monomial. The trick is you're going to have a binomial. So what are you going to do if this has a binomial? Square them together, but what's it called though? What what four letter word? Foil. 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 You're fine. We're good. So let's go ahead and get one of those out there. Um, T plus five and T plus three. The square root of t plus 5 is equal to t plus 3. <clears throat> is our radical all by itself? Yes. yes. So what do you think you have to do? Square. Square left side. Square the right hand side. What is the square root of t plus 5 squared? T plus 5. Now before you think the answer is t squared plus 9, it's not t squared plus 9. Okay, what does the quantity of t plus 3 squared mean? It means t plus 3 multiplied by t plus 3. So you go ahead and FOIL. T, t times t, folks, is? t squared. t times 3? 3t. Inside, 3 times t? 3t. 3 times 3, 9. Combine like terms, so we're going to get t plus 5 equals t squared. What's 3t plus 3t? 6t plus 9. Okay? What's our goal again? Get the variable by itself. Um, do you want to have the A on the T, and I mean A, AX squared plus BX plus C, do you want the A to be positive or negative? Positive. So we need to keep it on the, on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and subtract 5. Subtract 5 from both sides. And what else do we have to subtract? A T. Minus t, minus 5. What's my new equation going to look like? t squared plus 5 plus 4. 0 equals t squared plus 5t plus 4. Oh boy, what does that look like? Say again? Not good. Not good? Look around the room. Faye Stevens, well, what do you think we have to do, young lady, to the right-hand side? Uh, grouping, symbols. grouping symbols. Bingo, 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 equals zero. Next up, anybody? Um, put your A in without the exponent. First term without the exponent, T and T. Isn't that a PST? Um, no, because um, what's half of, what's the square of t squared? t, half of uh, the, the square of 4? 2. So what's 2 times t? 2t. Double it, we'll give you 5t. But I see you thinking, that's good. What are my signs going to be? Plus, plus. Plus, plus. Um, li uh, list of factors of 4. 1 times 4, 2 times 2. Which of those two factors will add up and give you B, which is 5? 1 times 4. Now we have two quantities that are multiplied together that gives you 0. So what do you know about one or both quantities? They both have to be equal to 0. So you say T plus 1 equals 0. T minus 4, oh, T plus 4 equals 0. Subtract 1, subtract 1. T is equal to what? Negative 1. Minus 4, minus 4. T equals a negative 4. Okay, I'm going to say this quietly and carefully. 
What are those called? Excellent sentence. Good, good. Take it old school. They're, they're the solution. Well, what if I told you that not all solutions fit into the radical equation? How do you think we have to check it? Say again? Plug, Plug them in. Substitute them in. So we, the possibilities of our answers are negative 1 and negative 4. Okay? Is this our original equation? Okay. So, so our possibilities were t equals what again? Negative 1. Negative 1 or negative 4. Now, some people could probably do it in their head which is good, but I'm going to show you how to do it if you aren't able to do it in your head. You scared at me. So the square root of t plus 5 and t plus 3. I'm going to rewrite the problem. Square root of t plus 5 equals t plus 3. Okay? Um, and we think the answers are negative 1 and 4, correct? Negative 1 or negative 4 or both of them. We don't know. So you rewrite it. With grouping symbols. What do you want to try first? Negative 1 or negative 4? Negative 1. Negative 1. So let's substitute negative 1 in. Okay, class, what's negative 1 plus 5? 4. 4. Okay. Square root of 4. And what's negative 1 plus 3? <coughs> 2. 2. What is the square root of 4? So 2 equals 2. So we know right now that negative 1 is a good answer. It's a good answer because it makes our equation true. Okay? Let's try it again with using negative 4. Let's plug in a negative 4. Okay, class, what's negative 4 plus 5? 1. And what's negative 4 plus 3? What is the square root of 1? 1. Does 1 equal a negative 1? No. So is negative 4 an answer? No. So what is the solution to this problem right here? Just a negative 1. Okay. I want you to get your books open to page um, 625 and look between example 2 and example 3 extraneous. Let's read that uh, paragraph. I'll read it to you. Extraneous solutions. Squaring each side of an equation sometimes produces a solution that is not a solution of the original equation. These are called extraneous extraneous solutions. Therefore, you must check all solutions back in the original equation. That is exactly what we just did. Okay, y'all understand that? Okay, let's let's look at three uh, B in the bottom page six twenty five. Someone please read that to me. X minus three. X minus three equals the square root of x minus one. X minus 1. Okay? Let's go ahead and walk ourselves through this. Uh, Alex, Smith, first step, please. Um, square each side. Square both sides. Square left-hand side. Square the right-hand side. On left-hand side, what do you have to do? Four. I mean, if, if you can do it in your head, do it in your head. Okay, what's x times x? x squared. x squared. Outside, x times a negative 3. Negative 3x. Three negative 3x. Three negative 3 times x? Negative 3x. Three negative 3x. Three and a negative 3 multiplied by a negative 3? 9. Positive 9. On the right hand side, what is the square root of x minus 1 squared? x minus 1. Combine these, class, what's a negative 3x minus 3x? Negative 6x plus 9 equals 
x minus 1. Do you want to move these three things to the right side or these two to the left side? Why, David? You want to work. You want to. You want to always keep. Well, you want to keep your stuff. You want. You want to keep the a value of the x squared always positive. Yes. Okay. That's what I was trying to get to. So let's go ahead and subtract an x. What, what do I do with the negative one? Add. add it. Add one. So I'm going to add one and subtract an x. On my right hand side of my equation, what's that going to equal to? Zero. Zero equals x squared minus 7x plus 10. That, that's a trinomial that you should be able to factor in your head, in my opinion. Um, let's go ahead and grouping symbols. Who knows the two binomials right now? Five and two, that's right, because a plus c is 10. One times 10 and five and two. What are my signs gonna be? Subtraction. Signs are the same, both gonna be subtraction. Boom, boom, first term without the exponent, five and two. What do you know about two quantities that are multiplied together that give you zero? Each quantity has to be four. Each quantity, so x minus five equals zero, x minus two equals zero. So folks, what are my two possible solutions? x equals five or x equals two. How do we see which one is an answer or solution and which one's not? Plug it back in. Plug it right back in. So I'm going to do that over here. x minus 3 equals the square root of x minus 1. So I'm going to put grouping symbols down. What value would you like to check first? Five. Five. Okay, let's plug 5 in. Okay, class, what's 5 minus 3? 2. 2. What's 5 minus 1? 4. What is the square root of 4? 2. Does 2 equal 2? Yes. So we know right now that one of our answers or solution is x equals 5. Okay, now let's go ahead and check 2. Boom. We could pretty much stop right here, couldn't we? Because what's 2 minus 3? Can you ever have a radical that equals a negative number? No, but we can still do it. Uh, class, what's 2 minus 1? 1. What is the square root of 1? Does negative 1 equal 1? No. no. So the, the solution to this problem, x equals 5. Can there only be one solution or can there be more than one? There can be more than one. If they both work, right? Yes, correct. Yes. So what would you call 2? The two word answer. No solution. Extraneous. Extraneous solution. Who said that? Faith, was that you? Kind of. Okay. Kind of. Kind of you, you kind of said it out loud? Yeah. Well, good for you? Maddie said it too. Who did? Maddie. Good job, Maddie. Okay. Um, I want to give you one that you don't get two binomials for an answer. Um, Okay, the, 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 I want you folks to try to start this problem on your own, square both sides, foil the right hand side, combine like terms.
know what distracts me? And uh, I'll do it. That's a great idea. I'm going to work slowly and try to catch up to you folks. Everybody should have that so far, correct? Okay. Minus 1, minus 1, minus K, minus K. K plus 1, minus K, minus 1, 0, equals K squared. Negative 2K minus 1K is negative 3K. 1 and negative 1 cross out. Okay, now we need to follow this, correct? Are there any common factors? K. So zero equals K. And what's left on the inside? If you factor K out of K squared, what's left? K minus three. Good. Now, back here, we had two binomials that are being multiplied together that gives you zero. So you take both binomials and you set them to zero. Okay, it's okay. Here you have a monomial and a binomial. Still set them both to zero. So you set k to equal to zero. Then you set k minus three equal to zero. Add three, add three. k equals three. So we have two possible solutions. Zero and three. How do, you, how do you know which one's the answer? You flip a coin, this is heads and tails. How do you check them? Say again? Plug them back in. So I'm going to rewrite it. Square root k plus 1 is equal to k minus 1. What am I going to do next? Put down grouping symbols. So we can substitute the value of each variable. Which one check first? You want to check three first? Let's check three. I did it in red, so I'll do it in red again. Three and three. Plus what's three plus one? So square root of four, three minus one. Square root of four is? Does two equal two? So this so far is an answer. Now we need to check zero. Okay, and, and I'm going to ask you, do we really need to check it? If we put a 0 in for here, what 0 minus 1? A negative 1. Can you ever have a, ne a radical equal a negative number? No, but I, I, I will still show you. I will still show you. Say again, say again please. I said, I said only if you're a leprechaun. Only if you're a leprechaun. Yeah. 0 and 0. Plus what 0 plus 1? 1. one. 0 minus 1 to negative 1. The square root of 1 is 1. Does 1 equal negative 1? No. Again, that's no. So what's that called in here? Extraneous solution. This is called a solution. Confusing, easy, simple. All of the above. Okay. And I helped a lot of people yesterday when it, when it came to uh, problems and everybody that came to me, the, when they had their problems all scrunched up in a, in a little bunch, they missed a step or, or miswrote something. So write big, okay? Write big, write neat, write organized. Okay, homework um, for today. Um, Your camera thing is still on. I know. I'm going to.
I was going to give you 8 through 20 evens. I think that's what I put on plan book, but I think I'm going to change. Uh, I think I'm going to change it. Uh, page 626. 8 through 20 evens. I believe it's 9 problems. We'll, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you as 1 through 7 all. So, page 6. 26, uno through siete, all. Oh. 